Hello and welcome to Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, and today we're doing something very unique, a red carpet virtually for the Canadian Screen Actors Awards. Now, it's a big to-do because you have to be media accredited to be able to even do this the way they have set it up virtually in a press room. And what we're going to do is we are going to cover the event for about two hours. It's going to have various categories of actors and media people uh, who have been nominated for various awards. Everyone in the press room has 10 minutes per entertainer or per featured category to get to speak with the winner and one question each. So hopefully we're going to get a few good questions in and that's going to be part of this episode, which we hope you'll enjoy. This is also being broadcast live tonight on CBC Network in Canada. And I want to remind you that if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll never miss another episode. The link is in the description box below. And if you would like to sponsor us in some way, we have a Patreon account and no donation is too big or too small as we continue to bring you the best content possible. Lastly, oh, and that link is, is also going to be in the, in the description below. And lastly, we have some lovely Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV podcast merch, quality premium sweatshirts and t-shirts in your choice of color and size with either the inspirational sayings made by me and one of my guests in a previous episode or the JTV logo and tagline. You choose what you want. We ship it conveniently straight to your front door and all orders do include tax and shipping and handling. If you'd like to learn more, there's a link below this in the description box and you can order whatever you like. Okay, on with the broadcast. Hello. Hey. Hi, Elamaya. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Congratulations, Night Riot Raiders, as well as um, Yima B. Pitson. What is the what is the significance of this win for both Night Raiders and Yima B. Pitson mean to you and the Indigenous community? Um, well, to be honest, I'm still processing, but um, I think it <laughs> it's a really special moment um, because both films are about love and hope and healing and strength um, and they're also about justice and um, I am just so honored to have been a part of Night Raiders and to witness the work that Dennis Goulet um, put into making such a remarkable film. But I'm also just really honored that my black on a national stage like this um, Especially because, uh, you know, we're still losing lives to the opioid crisis and um, people need this story, I think, now more than ever. Mm -hmm. With both Night Raiders as well as Gima B. Pitsin, which was a very personal film for you, the role of women are always at the heart of these stories. So why was it important to show matriarchs of girls at the heart of Indigenous stories? Um because matriarchs uphold our communities and they do so with love and generosity and dignity and hope. Um, and, you know, I, I always look to my mother and my grandmother for guidance and inspiration and support. And I think many of us are, are the same in, in Indigenous communities. <laughs> in the, you know, in the past, you've mentioned that there was a lack of visibility for Indigenous stories and actors and filmmakers on our screens, and that attitude is starting to change. So what can we do to ensure, you know, more films are made by Indigenous creators? I think we just need to continue to support Indigenous filmmakers and ensure that um, Indigenous filmmakers are receiving, you know, equitable resources when it comes to, to telling our own stories, because you know, the main issue was just barriers and lack of resources. It wasn't a lack of talent. It was, you know, a lack of opportunity. And so I think we're seeing films like Night Raiders and Wildhood um, 
it, it just proves that Canadian audiences want to see Indigenous content. And um, I think we're going to continue to see things change and grow, um, especially now with the representation of the Indigenous screen office. Mm-hmm. The first question is going to be from Jeanette Burke Productions. Go ahead, Jeanette. Thank you. Congratulations on your win. And uh, you mentioned the Indigenous community having a voice and seeing more being shown in film and that Canadians are ready to see this. What other storylines would you like to see featured in film for Indigenous people to bring forth? You uh, you also mentioned matriarchs and what have you. Um, so if you were to choose like different storylines other than opioids or matriarchs, what are some of the other themes you would like to see represented in stories in film for Indigenous people? Uh, well, I think we're already seeing a remarkable diversity of, of Indigenous stories on screen. You know, Wildhood is this queer love story and Night Raiders is this dystopian thriller about essentially vigilante superheroes and um I know that there are so many incredible films on on the way, like Run, Woman, Run by Zoe Lee Hopkins is a romantic comedy that's, you know, Canadian theatres right now. Um, we're going to see Nyla Inukshuk's, uh sci-fi alien encounter thriller from, uh, from the North. And I think, you know, we're seeing just this beautiful diversity of Indigenous stories already on screen. And so I just hope that... Um, indigenous stories tellers are able to continue to receive the support necessary to make the incredible films that are already being made um, and I just I just hope that indigenous youth are able to continue to, to access um, the amazing types of stories that we're already seeing I hope so too and I hope they continue to impact them thank you so much and congratulations you. again again on your win oh thank you so much Thanks for being with us today on Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off. Please remember to share, like, and comment on all our posts. You will find us everywhere on the TV side, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, um, Vimeo, TikTok, Instagram, and the list goes on. On the podcast side, you can play and hear us on iHeartRadio. Apple, Buzzsprout, BuzzFeed, Anchor, and also that list goes on and on too. So for the complete list of where to watch and see us, hop on over to www.jeanetteburke.com under the Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV uh, podcast section. You will see the complete list. And again, that list will be linked in the description box below. Again, thanks for spending your time with us today. And until next time, continue to be Fabulous. This is Jeanette Burke, your host, signing off for the Canadian Screen Actors Awards.